They call me Squirrel. What's going on over here on the other side of Squirrel? I want to take a minute when I start this video out to welcome all my new Pentatonic uh, fans that are over here on the uh, other side of Squirrel with us. Of course, all my Queen fans that are over here hanging out, my Home Free fans, um, just people that are fans of the music in general and uh, fans of hanging out over here and enjoying the reactions. I want to thank all of you for being here. Thank you so, so much. I hope every time I put out one of these national anthem videos, I hook one of you guys that come over and start watching these with us because these are really fun. Today, we're going to spin the wheel and see who's next. And uh, I don't know. Hopefully, it's something good. So here we go. Let's uh, pull up the wheel. There it is. And spin it. Comoros. I hope I said that right. Comoros. I've never heard of Comoros. I'll be back. All right. So I called it Comoros. According to Wikipedia, the pronunciation is Comoros. So hopefully I have that right with Comoros. Uh, a few things I picked up here on Comoros. Uh, it is a... <laughs> I'm going to butcher this. It's an archipelagic country. Archipelagic, did I get that right? Probably not. Uh, basically, the basic gist of it is archipelagic um, country is a country made up of several islands and um, uh, waterways uh, or uh, common bodies of water. It's basically it's an area that has a bunch of islands in it, and it's one country. That's a archipelagic country. I'm trying. I don't know. I, that's just what I'm learning here. It's in the Indian Ocean. Uh, uh, interesting uh, uh, com Comorian uh, is the main language with French and Arabic being the next two uh, main languages of uh, this archipelagic country. Uh, it's only 719 square miles with 850,886 people living there. Gosh, that's a lot of folks per square mile, it seems. Just can't imagine. It's so many. Wow. Um, Afro Arab. I didn't know that was a classification. Uh, I just didn't know it. Uh, doesn't mean it's wrong. I just I didn't know it. 86% of the country uh, is Afro Arab, and 14% are Malagasy. I'm not sure what that is either. Um, maybe malaysian or i, I don't know what, what i'm not sure of malaysian descent i'm just guessing here folks it's like shooting i'm shooting at shooting at different things trying to get an answer that i'm totally unsure of because i'm not even sure i pronounce it right anyways uh 98 percent uh islam for the religious breakdown two percent christianity and hopefully they have a good anthem so thank you for being here i appreciate you guys checking out and learning and educating ourselves together this is the national anthem of comoros Let's enjoy it together. Here we go.
I think we see throughout that anthem uh, a common factor that we see in a lot of these anthems. Um, it talks about, you know, we're going to rise up as a nation. Um, respect for the land that raised us. Respect for the land that we belong to. Um, you know, stick by our land. Stick by our traditions. Stick by our religion. Um, got no problems with any of those, you know, if, uh, everyone's allowed to have their own beliefs and things like that, I thought that was a really, really nice anthem. I actually thought it was a very, very nice anthem. I thought that the message was, was nice. Uh, the, me the message comes across to me as very peaceful, a very peaceful nation of people. I don't know, but I'm assuming they are. Um, maybe there's a reason why I never heard of them, because maybe they don't stick their nose in anybody's freaking business, you know? Seems like everybody else does in this world. These guys are like, hey, we're uh, we're cool with just being us and hanging out over here, you know. Uh, very kumbaya kind of uh, feel to this. I uh, was trying to think like what it made me feel like. Uh, this is definitely campfire or luau. I was thinking like I could imagine this song being sung in the background. I'm at a pig roast, you know. Um, I'm hanging out, you know, me and Mrs. Squirrel and. You know, we got all the little squirrels, you know. I, I don't know, maybe I might be wearing a grass skirt. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> the grass skirts on this guy. But seriously, that's kind of what I felt like. It was very, um, I don't know, I kind of... I, I kind of really dug the whole the whole island feel, the island vibe to it. Um, yeah, I liked it. This was, uh, this was definitely one of the better ones we've done so far, folks. I think. Just my squirrely opinion. Let me know what you think. I always appreciate reading through and seeing what everybody thinks of the different anthems from around the world. If you're from the small island collective archipelagic country of Comoros, uh, please say hi. Please. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking slow being a smartass. I'm trying to remember how to pronounce things. That's all. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly, I greatly, greatly appreciate all of you. You guys take care of yourselves, all right? Be good. Scroll out.